Well, hello and welcome to a new video where we are going to take a look at the performance of the 940MX from NVIDIA in the game Apex Legends in 2023. And we are playing this on the Lenovo ThinkPad T470P, which is the, <laughs> the last ThinkPad which actually had high powered components in the 14 inch form factor of the series, of the T series. And this means that we not only have a dedicated GPU, in our case the 940MX with GDDR5 memory, but we also do have a quad-core i7 CPU in here and 16 gigabytes of memory. So yeah, we are playing this at 720p resolution with basically the lowest settings. Oh, I think we can go even lower here, but I don't really think that's gonna make that much of a difference here. And yeah, this is really where, where you want to be as well. I mean, if you look at our FPS, obviously in the ship you you always get lower FPS than when you are have, when you have reached the ground. So it isn't too concerning if you only see 30 FPS or so in the dropship, because it most definitely <laughs> will get better once you actually reach your destination on the ground. But to be quite frank, this this is definitely the, the the settings I would be playing this with. I mean, if you have Apex Legends and you want to play this a little bit competitively, I really would not recommend playing this on a laptop with a 940MX anyways. Um, but yeah, if you just have the... If you just have the 940MX uh, as your only graphics card at your disposal, uh, or as, as your system, a system with the 940MX at your, dis at your disposal, then this is definitely where you want to be at. And we are at a pretty broken area, if I remember correctly. Like here in the waterfalls, the FPS should drop really, really hard. Yeah, but well, this is basically <laughs> the area where <laughs> you will see this kind of drop in FPS and nowhere else. Uh, so yeah, let's go and look around and I mean, yeah, we're seeing 60 FPS right now, 70 even. It is not a very demanding area down here, so if we're in the 80s here, that is uh, obviously really nice for us, but it doesn't really give us uh, all that much of an indication how well this will run uh, for other areas. But yeah, 60 FPS right now looks very playable. Even though I have to say it, 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 it just doesn't feel right. I mean, it could be that I'm just a little bit spoiled at this, uh, at this point since I played with my, uh, with my beefy desktop system and at 180 hertz with this external monitor right here. But it really doesn't feel all that responsive, and I don't really think I would want to play this competitively. So. Yeah, I mean, you can see that the, the frame time graph is really smooth. We can see these 60, 70 FPS. So it, it should feel a lot smoother than it actually does. Or maybe it, it, it should feel more responsive than it does. But it could also be due to the fact that uh, I only get uh, 60 FPS at 1440p connection to this monitor here with, the, uh, with this laptop, with the HDMI that this laptop offers. Because the... Uh, the the the, uh, the external HDMI connection is actually connected to, to the integrated graphics of this laptop, and uh, I guess the Intel, what what is it, UHD six hundred and thirty or whatever, uh, simply just have has an output of uh, sixty FPS at fourteen forty p. So yeah, that is obviously not optimal if you want to play a fast-paced shooter like this one. But if you're like me and for the longest time in your life you have only played it uh, with <laughs> with 60 FPS monitors anyways, or 60 Hz monitors rather anyways, then you're probably not going to notice uh, that much of a difference anyways. But yeah, and apart from that, I mean, 720p obviously at, at this kind of size looks very blurry. At 14, uh, at 14 inches, uh, it's not that bad to be honest. But uh, yeah, obviously you will be at a disadvantage compared to your opponents, which most likely will play at least at 1080p with bigger screens and will be able to spot you much easier than uh, you are able to spot them. Obviously due to the fact as well that everything is just... Uh, 
just it's just looking really weird here due to the low resolution and you you simply see a lot of movement with things where there is none because the lines are just so blurry yeah but apart from that if you really want to play this game and you want to play this game on the 940mx system right now I don't really see a problem with that. I mean, if I look at the, the, the CPU usage, which is at 80 and almost 90%, uh, which is pretty high for, for this kind of quad-core CPU, even though it's just running at 2.6 gigahertz, obviously, it's it's not using its, its full power since it's almost at 100 degrees here. But yeah, I, I, I really hope that you won't have a problem with a dual core CPU, which you most likely will have if you are playing with a 940 MX, because that in that case obviously you will have a lot more problems running this game smoothly if your CPU is also uh, bottlenecking your system. Hey, but we are definitely doing some good damage. I mean, obviously our teammates are probably doing the most <laughs> in this fight, but. I would say we're helping. I mean, this guy, this guy in the back, that's exactly what I mean. I mean, this is this, this guy basically consists just of, I don't know, 10 pixels. So it's really hard for me to even see that there is somebody over there. <laughs> basically, the only reason why I'm able to spot this person is due to the fact that, um, that, it, that he had a blue skin or whatever. So it actually was pretty easy to spot against the, against the green background. But other than that, I would have a really hard time uh, discerning this guy from, from the background, actually. So, yeah, you really gotta, you really gotta keep that in mind. But yeah, as you can see, I mean, obviously, we are not the ones who actually did all the, all the damage in this, uh, in this fight right there. But we are playing with our squad and we were actually still uh, <laughs> a helping team member in this fight. So... Yeah, I would say that is pretty good for the fact that we are playing this on a graphics card, which by now actually is what, eight years, nine years old? And I mean, I've played this with the DDR3 version on the ThinkPad T460P, and I can definitely tell you that the GDR5 version does feel uh, way better in, in terms of performance that it you can see that it definitely has like what 15% more FPS than the, the GDR free version. So yeah, I guess it's, it, it wouldn't be an, an it wouldn't be a, a worthwhile upgrade for you to to, to swatch uh, to 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 swap out your laptop for uh, one with with a GDR5 version with the 940 mix if you already have one with the DDR free version. But if you have to decide if it's actually worth it to go for the other laptop, then I guess I would definitely go and try to get the DDR5 version. I mean, in both cases, you shouldn't really buy a 940MX laptop at this day and age uh, any longer because simply the 940MX is just so much weaker than every integrated GPU you can you can uh, go and buy in 2023 now. So you really have to get a really good offer for the laptop. And I mean, I bought this T470P here for 300, uh, 300 viewers quid. Uh, I don't really feel ripped off uh, by paying that for, for this machine because uh, obviously I, I didn't pay, uh, uh, I didn't buy it for, for its great performance, but instead because it's a really reliable, tough, rugged uh, laptop, which still has the quad core CPU, which is really all you need for any statistical, statistical analysis and office software to run absolutely fine. So yeah, that's, there, there could be good reasons for you to, to buy an older machine uh, if it has other qualities that you are looking for. But if you are solely buying it because it has the dedicated GPU, I would absolutely not recommend, recommend you to do this. Since you most likely will be better off yeah, I guess <laughs> one good fight was uh, was more than we could ask for. 
But yeah, I think at 10 minutes this is a good time to end this video as well and I hope you saw that you can run this game on the 940MX even in 2023 but if you have the chance and you want to play it competitively you should definitely go and look for something else.